shit! Get down! Everybody get down! The Book of Eli, released in 2010, achieved significant commercial success despite receiving mixed reviews from critics. While some critics were not impressed by the movie, it was praised for its distinctive approach to the post-apocalyptic neo-western genre. The film's box office performance was strong, grossing over $150 million worldwide, which can be attributed in part to Denzel Washington's star power in the lead role. Despite ongoing speculation, there is still uncertainty regarding the potential development of a sequel, The Book of Eli 2. Following the success of the movie, discussions about a potential sequel emerged shortly after the movie's debut, fueled by the desire of fans to explore further the post-apocalyptic world depicted in the film. The success of franchises like Mad Max also sparked speculation about expanding The Book of Eli into a broader universe. However, as years have gone by since the original film's release, the likelihood of a sequel diminishes progressively. The character development of Solara, portrayed by Mila Kunis, generated significant interest in a potential sequel to The Book of Eli. Initially depicted as timid and uncertain, Solara's growth throughout the film was evident, culminating in her seemingly taking on Eli's role after his demise. Her departure from the safety of Alcatraz Island hinted at unresolved issues in her hometown, making her a compelling candidate to lead a sequel. Solara's journey could offer a means to expand the universe established in the first film, providing new adventures and storylines for fans to explore. Mila Kunis, in an interview with Hindu Stan Times, expressed a firm stance against the possibility of a sequel to The Book of Eli. She said, I don't think there should be a sequel. I think the purpose of the story ends. It's done. Considering that Solara's character would be central to any continuation of the story, Kunis's disinterest effectively diminishes the likelihood of The Book of Eli 2 materializing. Without Kunis reprising her role, a recast would likely detract from the sequel's impact, even if it attempted to tie up loose ends from the original film. Additionally, given the substantial time gap between releases, any potential sequel would need to be exceptionally well executed to achieve success. The Book of Eli effectively concludes its narrative with a strong and impactful ending, which serves to tie up the story in a concise manner. Although certain aspects of the plot are left open-ended, the conclusion of the original film is compelling enough to provide a sense of closure without requiring additional sequels. Solara's character arc, particularly her transformation, serves as a satisfying resolution for viewers, contributing to a fulfilling cinematic experience. Moreover, the unexpected revelation of Eli's blindness adds an element of surprise and intrigue, further enhancing the overall narrative conclusion. The main theme and message of the Book of Eli are effectively concluded with the titular character's triumphant death after accomplishing his mission. Eli's success in delivering the Bible through his memory to Lombardi marks a significant victory, resulting in Carnegie's downfall and the collapse of his empire. Such a definitive ending is uncommon in science fiction films, and it contributes to the legacy and impact of the movie. On the other hand, Denzel Washington has an opportunity to finally break a significant 36-year career trend thanks to a newly announced prequel to one of his movies. Yes, the announcement of a prequel TV show for The Book of Eli presents Denzel Washington with an opportunity to break a significant trend in his career. Fourteen years after Washington's impactful portrayal in the original film, the captivating post-apocalyptic setting is set to receive further exploration. The prequel show, featuring John Boyega as the lead instead of Washington, was expected due to various real-world considerations, including the timeline of the story taking place three decades before the events of the movie. Washington missed the opportunity to return to the Book of Eli universe many years ago, primarily because the character of Eli meets his demise in the original film. Given this narrative conclusion, the logical path to expanding the franchise was through a prequel, which could explore events before Eli's story. However, discussions or developments for a prequel movie featuring Washington never materialized.
limiting his involvement to a single appearance as the blind warrior. With John Boyega now leading the franchise in the prequel show, it seems there's no immediate role left for Washington. There's a potential option that could break a long-standing trend. Washington could still remain involved in the franchise, perhaps through a cameo or advisory role, allowing him to maintain a connection to the world of the Book of Eli despite not reprising his iconic character. Although there hasn't been any official confirmation or reports suggesting Washington's return for the Book of Eli prequel show, there is speculation that he might make a cameo appearance. The prequel series boasts the involvement of most key creative team members from the original movie, including writer Gary Whitta and directors Albert and Alan Hughes, which highlights Washington as the significant missing piece from the original cast. There is a potential opportunity for Washington to make a cameo appearance in the prequel show. Although the series is set 30 years before the events of the movie, there's a possibility of incorporating an older version of Eli in a segment, perhaps in the first episode or later in the series. The cameo appearance could serve multiple purposes. It could address some unanswered questions from the original film, add excitement for fans, and provide Washington with an opportunity to endorse the prequel while passing the baton to John Boyega. Should Denzel opt to make a cameo in the Book of Eli prequel, it would signify his return to television after a lengthy hiatus. The last time he appeared in a TV show was in 1988, concluding his six-season run on the NBC medical drama St. Elsewhere. Since then, Washington has solely focused on movie roles, including his memorable performance in The Book of Eli. Given this background, the potential for him to cameo in the prequel series holds significant weight and possibility marking a notable return to television for the acclaimed actor. While it's not obligatory to cast John David Washington in a prequel show based on a character portrayed by his father, Denzel, it could have added a nice familial touch given their relationship. John David Washington has showcased his talent in various projects like Attack the Block, Imperial Dreams, and the Star Wars saga, demonstrating his acting prowess. However, there's a missed opportunity for Hollywood to explore a meta-angle by casting John David Washington, considering his familiarity with themes similar to those in the Book of Eli through his roles in films like Tenet and The Creator. His involvement in the prequel could have brought an interesting dynamic to the series. The potential of the Book of Eli prequel series lies in its ability to expand and innovate upon the existing lore. While Denzel Washington is known for his leading man roles and as an impressive filmography, John David Washington has also proven his capability as a leading actor. His performances in the TV series Ballers, his breakout role in Black Klansman, and his comedic skills displayed in Amsterdam showcase his ability to carry a franchise on his own. While it may be challenging to surpass Denzel's achievements, John David's talent and versatility make him a strong candidate to lead the prequel series and bring a fresh perspective to the franchise. As of now, there's no official confirmation or reports suggesting Denzel's return for the Book of Eli TV show. Whether or not he decides to make a cameo in the prequel will depend on various factors, and only time will tell if this becomes his first TV role in over 36 years. It's possible that Washington may not have a strong inclination towards television work and prefers to focus on movie projects within Hollywood. While there haven't been any public statements indicating his disinterest in appearing on television, the appeal and potential of the Book of Eli prequel may be enticing enough to draw him back to the small screen. And there you have it. Whether Denzel Washington makes a cameo appearance or not, the show promises to delve deeper into the captivating post-apocalyptic world that fans have come to love. Are you excited to see John Boyega lead the Book of Eli prequel? Or do you think Denzel should make a cameo appearance to add an extra layer of nostalgia to the series? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates on the Book of Eli and other exciting upcoming movie news.